Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you're coming across an issue after performing a Windows update where you're unable to start the remote desktop service. And the error message reads that Windows cannot start the remote desktop services service on local computer, followed by error 1053. The service did not respond to the start or control request in a timely fashion. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. First thing I recommend doing would be to turn on and make sure the remote assistance is enabled on the target and the host machine. So in order to ensure the remote assistance is enabled, you want to open up the search menu and type in sysdm.cpl. Again, sysdm.cpl. And you want to hit enter. You want to now select the Remote tab, and underneath Remote Assistance, allow Remote Assistance connections to this computer. Make sure that is checkmarked. So that's the first thing I'd make sure of in there. And then on the Target machine, you want to, underneath Remote Desktop, checkmark Allow Remote Desktop Connections to this computer. So make sure that is selected. And if you're still having an issue, you may want to uncheck this option. Now, this is a security uh, feature in here, so you may not want to uncheck it, but if you want to just give it temporarily a try, if you're still having a problem, you may want to uncheck this option to allow connections only from computers running remote desktop with network level authentication. So if you have a computer that's not running network level authenticated credentials, then that would obviously explain why you're unable to get a connection. So that's something maybe you'd want to look into unchecking, but most of you guys shouldn't have to uncheck that option. And you would select apply and OK. And then once that's done, hopefully I would have been able to resolve the problem. Something else we can try here as well would be to disable the IPv6 protocol, which would force the remote desktop to try and connect to an older version of Windows, perhaps. So if you're using Windows 7 or Windows 8 as the target machine, or maybe even Windows XP, or maybe an older version of Windows NT, for example, you may have to turn that off. So in order to do that, you would open up the search menu, Type in ncpa.cpl. Again, go back into here. And then you would right click on your network connection type and select properties. And now you will select the Internet Protocol version 6. It says TCP slash IPv6. You would uncheck that option and then select OK. And then see if you're able to get a connection through there. And then again, hopefully at that point you should have been able to resolve the problem. One further thing we can look into here would be to open up the search menu and type in services. Best result should come back with services. Go ahead and open that up. You want to go down to the remote services. So there should be remote desktop. There should be two of them here, or actually three. The remote desktop configuration service, remote desktop services, as well as remote desktop services user mode port redirector. You're going to make sure all of them are turned on and they're all running. So server status should say running. If they are stopped, you want to select the start option. Again, for those three services in here. And that is pretty much it. So, as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do a positive to help you out. And I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.